All right. Insomnia kicked in, kicking in. Can't sleep. Almost one o'clock in the morning, so we're just gonna talk. If it wasn't for Bambi, I wouldn't be interested in art. Okay. Every time I draw Bambi, drip, drip, drop little April shows. That's in the back of my head. You know what I'm saying? Um, and one thing you gotta know about the first Bambi movie, you might as well say half of it was Japanese animated. Okay. And there was a lot of animated stuff before then to actually add realism to a cartoon. You know what I'm saying? But I think Bambi was the first one to be a motion picture to do it, do it, to be colored and everything. Now, it just wasn't the first one to win an award. You know what I'm saying? Snow White was. I think Snow White's older, I think. I can't remember. But anyway, it was just a whole, you know, the backgrounds were painted and it just had like a mystical feel to it. It just hits home for me, you know? And I just wish I could do my cartoons, my animation ideas in classic Disney animation. But Aaron Blaze, he did Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, blah, blah, blah. What he said was it takes up to five years to do that. Just the animation alone. We're not talking voice acting. We're just talking the animation. When you talk a sound effects, we're talking the animation. You know what I mean? And... See, back then, it felt different because it was drawn. It was better emotion you could get out of a character versus now it's mostly, you know, quick. But I'm not knocking technology because Pixar does a great job for, you know, their type of, you know, CGI type animation, you know. And now I just want to make something that's animated like this. You know, it's just for a good, a great feeling. That's all. See, I'm not trying to get all amped up. I'm not trying to be cursing or whatever. It's just, you only got so much time on this planet, you know? And you be having dreams and all this other stuff, but you're going to have to put the motion in. You're going to have to put the momentum in. You're going to have to put the thought in. You're going to have to put your hopes and prayers in because it's not just going to come to you. This for all ages. It's not just going to come to you. One thing that sticks out in my head, but I don't want to be that old to reach success. Colonel Sanders was 65 years old when KFC started jumping off. You know what I'm saying? And all that blood, sweat, and tears he went through just to get right there. You know, I don't want to be that old. My birthday next month, I'll be 46 years old. So I still got time. But you can't just say, oh, yeah, God works too slowly. No, you are working too slowly. He's giving you the tools because you're alive. That's the only tool you need. Work with that tool. All right? All right, guys. Be good.